What's up everyone, Atheris here. Look what's finally arrived after two long years. Uh, no, this is not CGI. This is the actual uh, Pop Culture Shock Scorpion premium format. Um, this is the classic line, or from the classic line. This is the exclusive version as well, which I'll show you what makes it the exclusive uh, in a minute here. Uh, but this just arrived today. I placed the order for this in November of 2012. Yes, this has actually set a record, I think, for the longest pre-order in history. Um, actually, no, I think Reptile. Uh, and actually, they were both released at the same time because Reptile was the exclusive for Scorpion, I believe. It's been so long, I can't even remember what's what anymore. But when this went up for pre-order, this could only go up, or this only went up with uh, Sideshow. Sideshow had their own exclusive version um, of Scorpion, which I think was the skull head, and then Pop Culture Shock had their own exclusive version for this, uh, which was Reptile, which you can only order through Pop Culture's site, which I have coming as well. Um, Pop Culture actually just posted a picture on Facebook, like I believe it was a couple days ago, showing their shipment or the container shipment with all the boxes and the ninjas that arrived. So those should be shipping shortly, and I will. Pair them up with uh, with this guy. I got all the ninjas in order: Smoke and Reptile, Sub Zero. I got Scorpion. So it's finally coming together, guys. It's uh, it's not a dream. <laughs> it's actually happening. But uh, here we have the normal head. There's two. No, sorry, three heads that come with this piece and two switch out arms. Uh, this is the way it was originally shown with uh, this pose and these arms. Uh, overall, it's a really awesome piece. I'm digging it. There's a there's a few things that uh, kind of bug me, but I'll get to those in a minute. It's not it's not like a deal breaker. I'm not going to send it back uh, over it, but still, it's, it's something that kind of ticks me off. And actually, if you're looking at it from the front, one you can already tell what one of those issues is, and that would be this little loincloth thing. This is the only fabric piece on this statue, but that loincloth. Uh, is clearly not the same color as the rest of his suit. Not by much, but it's definitely not the same color, or the same shade, anyway. So, that kind of detracts from it a bit. It's the first thing I noticed when I took it out of the box. Not a, not a huge deal for me, but it kind of sucks that, you know, they couldn't at least match the paint with it, or, or match the fabric with the paint, one of the two. Um, Overall, though, the, the musculature and the sculpt on this is awesome. Up up close, uh, the paint up on the arms and the face, actually, here, let me get up close, is really well done. Like, the veining, it's just like Shao Kahn, actually. If you guys have Shao Kahn, or those of you out there that have Shao Kahn, uh, the veining in the arms is really well done. You can see it's just, just subtle enough that you can kind of see it, but not, you know, in your face. Uh to where it looks like, you know, like Hulk, gamma ray, veining type of thing. But, uh, yeah, it looks, it looks really well done. Like, I love the, uh, the musculature here. It's all really well done. You couldn't really pick this up too much in, or at least I didn't, in some of the pictures, the promo pictures that were originally shown. But it looks like it came out pretty well. Suit's pretty good. Um, this looks like it's been changed over here. This yellow, where it's painted, this used to come down as a stripe down the side of his leg. Over here like that. Now that's been changed to the back, so it comes down in a stripe like that. Which is actually accurate, that's the way it's supposed to look. That's how it was in the game, so good thing they corrected that. I'm liking it. Base is, well the base is a base, it's pretty simple, you're not gonna, nothing special about it. Um, I actually got, let me just put this down, I got number 6 of 200, and where is the COA, the COA is right here, I got number 6 of 200, and it's actually pretty cool because it looks like Jerry's actually signing these things again, I can't remember what last pieces I got from Pop Culture, I think it was Judge Death and Shao Kahn actually, um, the COAs didn't come signed, so it looks like Jerry's signing them again, that's cool. But enough talk about that, let's uh, let's switch out some heads and uh, 
some arms and I'll show you these switch out parts here. So this is the covered face mask, you know, in Scorpion's normal head, which I prefer the most. And the other ones are cool, but they're more like novelty type heads, I guess. They're, they're cool to have, but I don't think anybody's really going to display them with those heads. Um, actually, you know, now that I'm here, another concern with this head, because there was a few pictures posted a while back, uh, where people were worried that his eyes on this head were actually painted yellow. They are not. They are actually white with the red veining, speckling uh, type of look that it had. You can kind of see it there. Um, they're, they're pretty glossy, so I think what's happening is when you put them on the statue, the reflection of the yellow is making the eyes look yellow from a distance, but they're not yellow. They're actually white. They're, they're pretty close to the prototype. They're not exact, but it's close enough, and I think it looks pretty good. So here's the other head. Magnets are really strong too, by the way. Um, this is the covered head with the face mask skull. I don't know what this is. This kind of confused me. I think if I think this is the mask, and then he's got the skull behind the mask that looks like a skull. I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. But I actually prefer this head versus the other skull, which I'll show you. I got that one which is the fully uncovered head skull look um, it's a neat feature I mean the the original premium format from the Mortal Kombat 9 premium uh, statue I have that one too came with a head similar to this and it also came with a flaming skull head um, I think they actually look pretty similar to the original MK9 one but anyway that's that one like I said, I think I like this one a little better. You uh, decide for yourself when you get it in hand. But I'll switch out the arms now. I'll show you what those look like. This, I'll put the original head back. So both these arms held in by very strong magnets, as you can tell. Oops, drop the statue. Um, and these arms here are what were shown with the Reptile exclusive. So there's those arms. Again, also cool looking. From the back it looks pretty badass actually. I, uh, for Scorpion, the way I'm going to, I'm not going to display them like this. I like these arms, but I prefer the, the ones I just had on, and that's how I'm going to display them when I have all the other ninjas uh, in hand. I'll keep Reptile with these arms. Overall, really, really well done, though. Uh, the suit, the coloring on the suit, or the shade of yellow that they used is perfect. I don't think it's too dark or too light. It's done just perfectly. Um, like I said, the only little issue I had was with the loincloth on, on his waist there, which is clearly not the same color. But, I don't know. There was another issue that I noticed, but you kind of have to get in close. Um, and you kind of have to be at the right angle. I don't know if this is just mine or they're all going to have it. But if you can see, there's these... They look like scratches or lines. All They're all running the same way. They're all running down. And... They, they look like, it looks like it was the primer or the cast, I'm not sure, under the paint that wasn't sanded properly or enough, but they probably used like a really rough grit sandpaper. Um, and then they just painted right over it. And then now you have all these streaks and these lines under the paint. You can kind of see it on this leg too. It's not too bad. You kind of have to get in pretty close to see it still bugs me enough that I'm gonna ask for a replacement like I said I don't know if they all come like this or this is just a one-off with mine um, but it bugs me so we'll see when more people get this in hand if they have the same issue or not but uh, 
Hopefully, hopefully not. It's not a big deal because from a distance, because the, the legs are black, you can't really notice it anyhow. Unless you get in really close. Great piece though. Super psyched that I finally got it after two long years. Can't wait to get the others now. And the head, um, a lot of people were concerned about the head being too long, and even I was, because a few pictures that I saw uh, in the past that were posted online, uh, they showed the head, I don't know, it's kind of a weird optical illusion. I mean, his face looks, and his head looks perfect from the side, I think. Uh, side portrait, perfect, his mask doesn't look too long. But then when you turn him to the front, it's, it's just weird, like his head becomes elongated. I don't know it's, if it's an optical illusion with his, with this because the yellow blends right in with like his shoulder yellow so it kind of fucks with your eyes a little bit but then from the side again it looks cool so I don't have a problem with it um, I don't think most people will when they get this in hand either it's more uh, I think of an optical illusion in pictures that it looks distorted or oversized or bulbous in some way it's not at least I don't think so so Uh, there you go guys uh, those of you guys that have this on order I think you're gonna you're gonna be really happy with it uh, it's pretty rare now this has been sold out for a while and I think once um, people start getting these in hand and they start seeing the quality and how cool it is in, in hand uh, the regulars are gonna go pretty fast too so if you're on the fence about it or you've been waiting all this time to see in hand pictures or a review to decide whether you want to buy it or not I say get it um, especially if you're trying to complete the line, now's the time because once these sell out, they're probably going to be going for all kinds of money online. So, uh, or on eBay. So there you go, guys. Um, the Pop Culture Shock Classic Scorpion Premium Format. Uh, I got Smoke and Reptile and Sub Zero on the way next, so I'll be doing a review on those guys and I'll put them together in a group because I'm sure everybody wants to see them in their group shot. And that's it. Oh, and I got Gladiator Hawk that showed up uh, yesterday or the day before that, too. So I got to do a video on him. So look for that. Other than that, guys, thanks for looking. Take care. Talk to you next time.